Strong tremors just struck Campi Flegrei, and the ground beneath half a million people is literally rising. This is not your typical volcano with a cone and lava flows. We are talking about a supervolcano caldera that is showing signs of waking up after decades of relative quiet. The phenomenon driving this unrest has a name, Bradyseism. It is the cyclical rising and falling of the Earth's surface. And right now, Campi Flegre is in a rising phase that has scientists watching very carefully. The ground has lifted 15 centimeters since 2005, and these recent tremors are telling us something important about what is happening deep below. Campi Flegre is not a mountain-shaped volcano. It is a nested caldera system, essentially a collapsed volcanic structure that spans 13 kilometers across the landscape near Naples. Think of it like a massive underground pressure cooker with multiple chambers and pathways. Bradyseism is the key to understanding what makes this caldera so unique. The term comes from Greek, meaning slow earthquake, but that does not capture the full picture. What we are seeing is the ground literally breathing, rising and falling in cycles that can span years or decades. The geological mechanism driving this process involves magma and hydrothermal fluids accumulating in chambers beneath the caldera floor. As these materials build up, they create immense pressure against the overlying rock. The Earth's crust responds by bulging upward, like inflating a balloon from the inside. But here is where it gets complex. The pressure is not just from molten rock. Superheated water and gas play crucial roles in this system. Deep underground, water gets heated to extreme temperatures by magma bodies. This creates a pressurized hydrothermal system that can push against the surface with tremendous force. When this pressure builds, it does not just cause uplift. The stress fractures rock, creating the earthquake swarms we are seeing now. These are not massive, destructive earthquakes. They are smaller events, typically under magnitude 4, caused by the rock, literally cracking under the strain of being pushed upward. The current 15 centimeters of uplift since 2005 represents a significant accumulation of subsurface pressure. To put this in perspective, that is roughly six inches of vertical movement across a massive area. The forces required to lift that much land are staggering. What makes Campi Flegre different from typical volcanic activity is the cyclical nature of this process. Most volcanoes show a linear progression toward eruption. Pressure builds, magma rises, eruption occurs. But Bradyseism operates on a different timeline, with different rules. The caldera can experience periods of intense uplift followed by gradual subsidence, all without any volcanic eruption. This creates a pattern that is both predictable and unpredictable. Scientists can measure the physical changes, but determining whether uplift will lead to eruption requires understanding the deeper dynamics at play. The subsurface structure of Campi Flegre includes multiple magma chambers at different depths. Shallow chambers, perhaps three to four kilometers down, interact with deeper reservoirs extending much further into the earth. This layered system means pressure can build and release at various levels, creating the complex Bradyseism patterns we observe. Current monitoring shows gas emissions changing composition, ground temperature increasing in certain areas, and seismic activity clustering in specific zones. These indicators suggest the hydrothermal system is becoming more active, possibly due to new magma injection at depth or changes in the existing magma chamber dynamics. A 15 centimeter rise is not uniform across the caldera. Some areas have experienced more uplift than others, creating a dome-like deformation pattern. This uneven lifting tells scientists about the shape and location of the pressure source below. Understanding this process is crucial because it affects how we interpret the current unrest. The tremors and ground movement do not automatically signal an imminent eruption. Instead, they represent the caldera's natural response to changing conditions deep underground. The question is not whether Campi Flegre is active, 
The question is what this particular episode of activity means for the future. This is not the first time Campy Flagre has shown this behavior. The Caldera's history reveals a pattern of dramatic episodes that help us understand what we are seeing today. Campy Flagre formed through two catastrophic eruptions. The first, 39,000 years ago, created the initial caldera structure. The second, 15,000 years ago, refined the current configuration. These were not just eruptions, they were civilization-ending events that reshaped the entire region. But it's the more recent episodes that give us the clearest picture of how Bradyseism works in practice. The 1970s and the 1980s provide our best historical reference points for understanding current activity. The most significant episode began in 1982 and continued through 1984. During this period, the ground at Pazuoli, a town within the caldera, rose an extraordinary 1.8 meters. That's nearly six feet of vertical displacement in just two years. The uplift was so dramatic that the town's ancient Roman market, built at sea level, ended up high and dry, completely separated from the water. This was not just a scientific curiosity. The rapid ground movement made buildings uninhabitable, cracked foundations, and rendered the local port unusable. The situation became so severe that 40,000 residents were evacuated from Pozzuoli as a precautionary measure. Entire neighborhoods sat empty while scientists tried to determine whether an eruption was imminent. The earthquake activity during that crisis was intense. Thousands of small tremors shook the region as the ground continued rising. Residents reported constant low-level shaking, with some days bringing dozens of perceptible earthquakes. The psychological impact was enormous. People were living on ground that was literally moving beneath their feet. What makes this historical episode so important is how it ended. Despite dramatic uplift and intense seismic activity, no eruption occurred. The pressure that had been building underground found other ways to release. The ground eventually stabilized and began a gradual subsidence that continued for years afterward. This pattern taught scientists a crucial lesson. Volcanic unrest does not equal imminent eruption at Campi Flegre. The caldera operates by different rules than conventional volcanoes. Pressure can build, cause dramatic surface changes, then dissipate without producing any volcanic activity. The 1980s episode also revealed the complex relationship between ground deformation and seismic activity. As uplift accelerated, earthquake frequency increased. When uplift slowed, seismic activity decreased correspondingly. This correlation helps scientists understand the mechanical processes driving Bradyseism. Current activity levels show both similarities and differences to the 1980s crisis. The total uplift since 2005 is significant, but much slower than the rapid rise seen in the early 1980s. Earthquake activity is present, but less intense than during the peak crisis period. However, we now have monitoring capabilities that did not exist in the 1980s. Satellite interferometry can measure ground movement with millimeter precision. Seismic networks can detect and locate earthquakes with unprecedented accuracy. Gas monitoring stations track changes in volcanic emissions in real time. This enhanced monitoring reveals details about the current episode that were not available during previous crises. Scientists can see how different parts of the caldera are responding to pressure changes. They can track changes in gas composition that might indicate new magma movement. They can model the subsurface pressure sources with much greater precision. The historical pattern suggests that Campi Flegre experiences these episodes cyclically. Periods of unrest alternate with periods of relative quiet. The caldera seems to have natural pressure release mechanisms that help prevent the system from reaching critical eruption thresholds. The recent earthquake swarms represent exactly what scientists expect during Brady Seism episodes. These are low magnitude events, typically ranging from magnitude one to four, caused by rock fracturing under stress. 
they are not the deep, powerful earthquakes associated with major tectonic activity. What makes these tremors significant is their pattern and their location. They cluster in specific areas where the ground deformation is most pronounced. This clustering tells scientists about the geometry of the pressure source below and how stress is being distributed through the rock. The crucial distinction here is between volcanic unrest and an, and an imminent eruption threat. Campi Flegre is definitely experiencing unrest. The ground movement, seismic activity, and gas emission changes all confirm that the subsurface system is active, but unrest does not automatically mean an eruption is approaching. Italy operates a sophisticated four-level alert system for volcanic hazards. Green represents the base level, indicating normal background activity. Yellow signals attention, meaning scientists have detected changes that require increased monitoring. Orange indicates pre-alarm status, suggesting possible escalation toward dangerous conditions. Red represents alarm, and it means eruption is considered imminent or underway. Currently, Campi Flegre operates at the yellow attention level. This means authorities recognize the ongoing unrest but do not consider it an immediate threat to public safety. The monitoring data supports continued observation rather than emergency response. Each alert level triggers specific response protocols. At yellow, the response is enhanced monitoring, regular scientific assessments, and public information updates. Orange would involve emergency planning activation and possible evacuation preparations. Red would mean immediate evacuation of high-risk areas. The monitoring network surrounding Campi Flegre is among the most sophisticated in the world. Dozens of seismic stations track earthquake activity continuously. GPS stations measure ground movement with millimeter precision. Gas sensors monitor volcanic emissions for chemical changes that might indicate new magma activity. This comprehensive monitoring system provides early detection capabilities that did not exist during previous crises. Scientists can now track changes in real time and model the subsurface processes driving the unrest with unprecedented detail. Campi Flegre represents volcanic unrest, not imminent danger. The caldera is following patterns established during previous episodes showing that dramatic ground movement can occur without leading to eruption. The importance of continued scientific monitoring cannot be overstated. This system provides the early warning capabilities that protect half a million residents living within the caldera's influence. Campi Flegre is one of only a few calderas worldwide where scientists can study Bradyseism in real time with modern instruments. The caldera's proximity to a major population center makes it a critical natural laboratory for volcanic hazard research.